Um, yes, in other news, um, my granny's still in the home. Has um, <laughs> definitely worked out what's happening. Um, but he's packed, bless her, but that's, that's my point. Um, but one of the things I noticed when I did deign to go and visit her is uh, these posters about telling if someone's had a stroke, and they have the acronym BOBS on them. So you need to check their face, which will slump if they have a stroke. For those of you looking at me, I'm going to do any questions. <laughs> Their face is slumped. A for arms, they can't lift their arms. If the speech is slurred. And then the last one is time, which is really bizarre. So basically, they're envisioning a situation where you go, Granddad, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Granddad, Granddad, try and. Your face is really. Try and lift your arms. Uh, no, try and say something. Uh, what? Hold on, what time is it? <laughs> oh, it's 10 o'clock, he's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So yeah, brilliant, that's the government for you, copying you later. Um, yes, okay, so we have a great uh, range of <laughs> Anyway, um, when the penis monologue was released, fictionally in my head about three hours ago, <laughs> um, it was hailed by critics as disgusting and pornographic, <laughs> which were words my girlfriend recently used when she came into my room and found me watching some disgusting pornography. Completely <laughs> unreasonable, I thought. Um, she walked in and went, oh my god, how can you watch that? He's just subjugating her. I was like, brilliant, because I've been looking for the word for what he was doing for hours. This <laughs> <laughs> is illegal. <laughs> Actually, you want to watch this? She's just been subjugated by two other guys, and then they're going to get subjugated by a horse. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> the subjugation's kicking off. Um, and she was like, no, no, you don't understand me. You're objectifying women. I was like, oh, okay, well, she used the word you don't understand. Play it cool. Play it cool. And uh, ask a few questions, get a feel for what this word might mean. Of course I don't fucking objectify women! <laughs> I asked casually. <laughs> um, she was stunned. Uh, yeah, you do actually. You treat women like objects. I was like, now you mention it. <laughs> I think I do do that. But I wasn't going to rush to conclusions. I did the guy kind of analytic, rigorous, scientific thing and Googled the word object. <laughs> um, Fuck you, feminism, I looked it up. <laughs> it turns out, all it means is this. The object in a sentence, I've got an example for you here. In the sentence, John ate the donut, <coughs> donut is the object. <laughs> all right? So donuts are objects. Donut porn is fine. <laughs> Interracial donuts, white, dark chocolate, filthy, filthy sprinkles. <laughs> all right? Look at the hole in that one. There are <laughs> Thousands of sexual possibilities. <laughs> That's my only joke. <laughs> um, but anyway, like how, how the fuck are feminists going for this situation where women can't be the objects in sentences? Um, just imagine this, this is a horrible situation, like this is something we really don't want to imagine. But imagine that, that Gavin is, is beating up his wife, alright? Don't know why he's doing it down here. He's pulled her to the ground, he's beating her up. And then over the road, Linda's looking out of her window and she's like, shit! Oh, I've got to tell someone about this. This is a very bad situation. He turns to John, who's reclining in a lounge, you know, smoking a pipe. Her husband. Not, not a wife, Peter. <laughs> John! Gavin is beating. <laughs> Gavin is beating. Beating his sons in Mario Kart? I doubt that very much. They are very good at Mario Kart. <laughs> pro Evolution Soccer is my game, but FIFA man. John, stop talking to the audience about Pro Evo! <laughs> I'm saying, Gavin is beating! Oh, then perhaps you should stop watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Stare at a man wanking through a window, you're too far away. John, Gavin is beating! Around the bush? <laughs> well, that's you, actually. You've taken quite a while to get to the point of this. Gavin is beating Linda! She's getting hurt, quite seriously, actually. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Made her an object. <laughs> 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 Things are going to go to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Actually, that's realism. That's got no place in a relationship. It's based on whimsy instead. Happy Valentine's Day, I bought you a unicorn. Do you want to go a rainbow? Why not? You know, one of the things I, I find it difficult to get my head around is kind of the whole lack of transparency in the whole thing. Like it's, it's just like, it's like a lot of lies. Like a girl will say you're one in a million, and I will say, well, fuck me, look, go to the stone, you put it about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd be one in ten. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, like, I don't like thinking about that because I'm basically analysing myself through the lens of what essentially is autism. <laughs> because I, in a way, like, I, I, I do understand like, the social contract, and like, I'm implicit in like, sort of the load of land you use. I like, at least it's kind of, it's very cliche to like, women say this, they mean this, men say this, they mean this. And most of it's bullshit, but a lot of what I say and do is kind of surreptitiously informed by my genitals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's weird. It definitely is to say it. When I say to a girl, you know, like, um, do you want to go out for a drink? A little bit of me, or two little bits of me, <laughs> are really kind of wanting to say later. Maybe you could look deep into my eyes and just gently cut my eyes. There's a little bit of a girl who this. And so when she says no, you know, she means what? Well, actually, she means no. Legally, that's not even the grey area. That's a pretty black area. That's not racism. That's not racism. That's an extended metaphor about shading. <laughs> Then you've got all wheel then. Some people don't want fucking like all wheel then, yeah? <laughs> I think all wheel should go back to its own fucking country. <laughs> in my house, all wheel bed sits at the back of the bed bin. <laughs> the Demerara sugar. <laughs> 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 